Danny Bayard for Club Bremen Spotlight. I've got an interesting guest here tonight. Her name is Elizabeth DeShiel. And we're gonna be talking about two things. One of them is what she does for culture, and the other one is what she does for her car. So Elizabeth, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. I know we've talked about this. We are socially distanced. We've already taken the tape measure. We're Definitely. CDC guidelines. So do you mind if we take off our masks? Not at all, although I just have to show that uh, this mask here is a little hint about what we'll be talking about, Palm Beach Shakespeare Festival. So, of course, how apropos, she's already bringing out props. So, <laughs> tell us about Shakespeare by the Sea. What is it? Tell us. Well, the Palm Beach Shakespeare Festival has been producing the annual Shakespeare by the Sea free to the public okay. for 30 years this year. Did you Put say 30? 30. Not three, 30 years. 30. Wow. It premiered in 1990 in uh -huh. Carlin Park, Jupiter. Okay. And it takes place over the course of two four-day weekends every summer so it's really targeted towards our local community uh -huh. and of course any summertime visitors to the area and it brings about 10,000 people over the course of those eight nights where everybody's invited to bring their beach chair blanket picnic basket your best friend, your favorite date, or your entire family. So tell me about the play and tell me what's different this year. Tell me all about it. Okay. Well, instead of it being presented live, of course, because of the current pandemic going on, what we have done, thanks to a wonderful grant uh, through our Sharon Shakespeare program with PNC Arts Alive, and of course, a couple of special donors, we were able to the for the first time in our 30 year history, have a professionally filmed production really? of one of Shakespeare's works okay. using and employing, of course, local professional actors and technicians as we do every summer because it is a professional production, not a community theater. Okay. Um, and offer it completely free of charge through our website, a virtual festival. So Fabulous. we put on the play and we're inviting everyone to find their favorite picnic spot and bring the friends, family, this loved ones, or just yourselves. Get your picnic baskets never, together, your blanket, your lounge chair. Yourself. There you go. Yes, yes, <laughs> your lounge chair. And have You're your own it. festival. And this year, of course, it is a Midsummer Night's Dream. Nice. Yes. So how many different Shakespeare uh, plays have we put on in the past 30 years? Is it one every year that's different? It's or a completely it, they, different they play every single year. And we try, of course, and present the most loved of Shakespeare's works like Hamlet, which we did for our 25th anniversary. We've done Macbeth, we've done Merry Wives of Windsor, As You Like It, uh, Much Ado About Nothing. But we've also presented a number of lesser known, mm -hmm. like our award-winning Coriolanus production, which not a lot of people have necessarily seen or heard of, uh, Pericles, which was personally one of my favorites. Um, so we are really blessed to find a lot of talent that are local mm -hmm. and we've had guest artists, guest performers. We've also had our artistic director who we bring in each year from out of town. Uh -huh. And uh, we do the only actual full scale professional production in this part of South Florida for 30 years. And how running. many people are involved in the production? That's a really great question. We are proud to say that we are able to employ in the off season uh, up to 25 artists and technicians every single summer. Yes. Huge production. And we also collaborate with a number of schools and universities. And what's your role in this uh, production? I am actually the co-producer of the Palm Beach Shakespeare Festival, so I work on it year round. I'm one of a couple of employees who do. And uh, much of our work, of course, many of our hours are volunteer because we are donation based mm -hmm. only. Okay. And that's so we can offer the Palm Beach Shakespeare Festival free of charge, regardless of socioeconomic status. And this year, regardless of location, because anyone can stream it, it'll be available for three weeks starting now. And you can go to our website at pbshakespeare.org. That's fabulous. So from year one to 17 years later, Elizabeth DeShiel and the Shakespeare by the Sea. So Club Raymond members, 
right on the screen you've got the website visit it enjoy it you can't take your beach chairs to the event but you can take bring them in your house and watch it on your big screen tv absolutely or any portable device it's available for downloading and streaming so you can really take the show anywhere this year but next summer I am hoping we will be back there and we'll be able to do a full-blown celebration and we invite everyone then to of course bring your beach chair your blanket get your friends together Shakespeare by the sea you've got the uh, website address download it enjoy it